Cool. So now we're going to see about IDs and classes with CSS. And uh, we'll create a new folder, 009. And then we'll create a new index.html. And we'll create a new style sheet, main. And uh, then I like to right click and split vertically so I can see my CSS over here. And we'll link to our uh, style sheet. And, uh, and then we'll have a UL. And we'll have uh, LI as a descendant or a child. And we'll have some content in that LI of yo dog and we'll just do dollar signs and we'll do 99 of those and so uh, there are 99 yo dogs and then we'll do some styling over here and so uh, maybe we'll say our li is blue color blue and uh, and then we'll reveal that in finder And launch it. So there they all are. But we could start to do some customization. So maybe I want this one to be, I give it an ID, and the ID is going to be, I don't know, Waka. Waka. There's my ID. Whatever you want it to be. And then over here, I say pound waka baka, and this is going to be color green or whatever color. Dark magenta. That'll be hard on the eyes. Dark orange. There we go. And, uh, and then I come back and I refresh this, and that one is dark orange. Okay, so we can give it an ID, but I can't use that ID more than once. Right, it's going to highlight. My editor is now giving me a green line. Type in typo. Well, it says it's a typo, but I'm not allowed to use that more than once. It'll probably still work, but that's bad code. IDs are only used one time. If you want to use something more than once, you do a class. So the class in this case is going to be uh, Jawawa. Jawawa. There we go. Jawa wa. And for a class, I come over here in CSS and I do a period and choose the class. And this will be color. We have blue, we kind of have a magenta. I like those bright ones. Yes, those are the bright ones. Oh, well, that's going to be confusing. We'll talk about that in a minute. We'll go with that. And now I could add this class in multiple places. That's not the one I want. So now it got the yo dog. Yo dog and that color are pretty similar. All right, but a class can be in multiple places. So that's an ID and that's a class. So we have element selectors. This is an element selector right here. We're selecting something by an element. We have an ID selector. That's an ID selector right there. And we have a class selector. Okay, got it? So I'm going to give you guys a chance to do some coding. I want you to use Emmet. And I want you to create this list, and I want you to style stuff with both the element, the ID, and the class. Okay? Code it up.